Over the years, as I've delved deeper into the self-help topic and now I've become somebody who would consider themselves pretty knowledgeable in the topic, one thing I think is overlooked and one thing that I think you should become aware of is the way that you carry yourself into certain rooms, is the way that you, you walk into certain rooms or the way that you walk in daily life, and that's through your body language. Because I do truly believe that the most overlooked topic in self-help, in becoming a better version of yourself, is body language. We, we, we tend to take it for granted because we think the way that we walk is just the way that we walk, and no matter how we walk or how we, how we enter a room, is just nobody's going to perceive us on that. Nobody's going to make a quick initial judgment. But I'm here to tell you that it's very unlikely that people are going to look at you if you have slouched shoulders and think you're a happy fella. It's just the way it is. I'm here to tell you that become very aware of your body language and become very aware of the way that you're carrying yourself. Because if you're carrying yourself in a way that isn't happy and that's a very strange thing for me to say because what is happy but I think if you're not carrying yourself in a way with confidence it's very hard for people to perceive you as somebody with confidence because there's two options right and I'm going to put this in a way and I'm really hoping that you can see this example if I walk into a room and my shoulders are relaxed and they're back and they're, they're, they're kind of in a way that is, is comfortable to me but it's not too cocky it doesn't come off as arrogant you're going to perceive me as somebody who maybe has a bit going on because it's not too much it's not too little it's just a comfortable position but one thing I want wanted to say is if you're walking into a room with your shoulders rolled forward, and I'm really hoping you guys can see this. If not, I'm going to put an example up on screen. But if you're walking forward and in your, if you're walking into a room and your shoulders are forward and your head is down and you're looking at the ground, or maybe you're not looking it up, looking up and giving people eye contact, well, people aren't going to perceive you as having confidence. But because we play so many games, because we're always slouched over and maybe we're a happy individual, maybe we're a successful individual, but that's just how our body posture is. People are still not going to look at you and think that you're a happy and successful individual. Because body language is the unspoken language in the world. It's like giving a person, it's like it's like filling the mouth of somebody with swear words, right? It's not going to sound good. It's not presentable. It's not something that high status people do. If you look at a lot of high status people, they don't swear because it's not, it's not palatable, right? And bad body language is not palatable. All successful people walk around with good body language and good body language comes with confidence. And this is something that is an interesting topic is because if you can gain confidence, whether it's through, you know, outside influences which i don't think confidence could come or should come from or if you gain confidence through inner self work your body language starts to adapt your body language and the way that you carry yourself starts to change i think back on my life when i was a bigger person and when before i had lost all my weight and changed my life completely I really do believe that my body language was bad because I was walking around in this way that I wasn't confident in myself. I wasn't happy with the clothes I was wearing. I was, I, ha I had the big back. I'm mean, not on TikTok for you TikTok people. My sister just likes to say that. But I would wear an XL shirt and my love handles would stick out the back of my shirt. I was not happy with the way that I walked around. And you can initially see that in the way that I carried myself because my shoulders were always rolled forward. I was looking at the ground and while people would say that I was a popular individual, which I wouldn't agree with, I just knew people, I still wasn't happy with the way I looked and I'm sure my body language reflected that. But after I lost my weight, after I started to gain a bit of confidence and after I started to really work on myself and become a better version and really, really, really change my life, my body language it, it, it changed and it became a bit more confident and it became a bit better. And, it, and I started looking up instead of looking at the ground, I would look at your chest and instead of looking at your chest, I would look you in the eyes and it changed. So I really do, do, do think that if you want to become better at your body language, if you want to have a better idea of yourself through body language, become confident and work on yourself on the inner. Don't look to the outer for a confidence boost. Because confidence doesn't come from the outside. We've been dismayed and we've been turned in a way as a society to think that confidence comes on the outside. You know, we, 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 we have a thousand followers, so that's confidence. Or we have a million followers, that's confidence. Yeah, that's great, but that shouldn't bring you confidence. What should bring you confidence is the work that you do on the inside, the small victories and the small battles that you win on the inside. And I was just reading that in the new psychology of winning. And I truly do believe that those inner battles that you win really can change your life and really can change the way that you carry yourself you got to think about this for a minute okay when it comes to body language with it being the most unspoken language in the world people are reading you day by day people are reading the way that you walk around you could be walking in the park in a dog park and you could be out in public wherever it is people are still making micro gauges on your body language people are still making micro micro impressions on your body language. People are still making snap decisions on what you do, what you like, how you are, and if you're a friendly person. The way that you walk around in daily life truly goes unnoticed. 
And I think the more that you can become aware of that certain topic, if you can become aware of that certain topic, the better off you'll be. And it's all about making micro adjustments through the day. Make adjustments as you go through a door. Make adjustments every time you go through a door. And it's something that I've been working on, especially where when you come through a new door, you're entering a new scene. When you come through a new door, you're entering a new scenario. And when you can enter a new scenario with good body language, people tend to like that, right? If I'm entering my, uh, a, a, a new room with good body language, even if I'm sad, people still perceive me as being happy. Although on my face, maybe saying something different body language speaks and body language is the initial judgment people are going to make on you so if you can enter a room with good body language if you can enter a room with rolled back shoulders a head up even if you're sad your life will change we all need jobs everybody needs a job everybody needs something to do and if you're one of those people who wants to work for somebody if you're a person who wants to become their own ceo one thing i highly suggest you do is really try and work on your body language if you want to be in the public figure if you want to be a higher up if you're just doing job interviews and you want your next job i'm telling you right now if you can find and you can practice in a mirror your body language and figure out how you walk or maybe even just get your friend or whoever or maybe even just put the camera up on a bench or wherever and record yourself walking around like you casually would, you'll very quickly realize that sometimes your body language is what's stopping you from getting the job that you want. And I know it's a bold claim to make, but what I'm trying to say to you is that your body language is the initial judgment people make of you, like I just explained. So you gotta be very, very careful of how you walk into a job interview. You gotta be very careful of how you walk into the public eye. Because if you walk into the public eye with rolled shoulders down, head down, you're not perceived as confident. You're not perceived as somebody I wanna give the job to. You're perceived as somebody who is not happy with themselves is a good way to put it. And I truly do believe that body language and the more that you work on it is the key to success and the key to happiness. Because if you can walk around with confident body language, if you can walk around with good body language, let's screw the confidence for a sec. If you can walk around with good body language, that's the key to success. That's the key to life. Good body language, good posture, a happy looking up face is the key to success in life.